Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas episode two. On today's video, we're gonna go through a Christmas wish list, what's on my wish list, and you know, suggestions for all of you, ranging from 50 pounds to 200 plus. So you definitely wanna stay watching all the way to the end to see some good inspiration. And in this video, we're gonna be going through stuff that's on my Christmas wish list, but also things that you might wanna buy for, you know, your friends, your cousin, your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, or for yourself. This is definitely a wish list for the ladies. If you want to see one for the guys, let me know in the comments. But first things first, if you're not following me over on Instagram, you can go ahead and do so over here. Secondly, get yourself a nice hot drink. And lastly, get yourself a pen and paper because I'm gonna be giving you guys lots of inspiration for Christmas shopping. So everything that I'm gonna mention today are actually things that I want, but also things that I think other people would really benefit from. On the list, we've got fashion, jewelry, skincare, interiors. So, you know, I got a bit of everything for you, including a lot of black owned brands as well. So starting off with the 200, plus range i mean let's just aim for the stars and we'll make our way back down to earth starting off we've got the coach tabby bag the structured one in black this is just such a timeless piece i feel like you can hand it down to your daughter you could have it for years like to wear it on the weekend wear it with something dressed up like it's just a timeless bag and i want it in my collection in fact i need it in my collection <laughs> Moving on, we've got the Fendi hoop earrings. They're quite small, but I feel like they're not too, you know, in your face, not too obvious with the Fendi monogram. You know, they're just quite cute and classic. Again, I'm all about building up my designer items, but them being quite timeless that I can just keep for a very long time and something that I'll get a lot of wear out of. At the moment, there's all the rage about black girl luxury and luxury to me is like in the everyday things. So why wouldn't I want really luxurious pajamas? And that leads me onto the daily sleeper pajamas coming in at 258 pounds. All of the other prices will be on the screen, by the way, because I definitely forgot to mention the price of the tabby and the Fendi hoops, but they'll be on screen. An essential for the winter wardrobe is definitely a nice chunky scarf. And the acne scarf for me is just so beautiful. It's quite out there, it's quite colorful, but for someone that wears a lot of monochromatic colors like myself, like a lot of blacks, a lot of creams, a lot of like whites and grays, I think the scarf would just go really nicely with a lot of outfits that I wear. And then also it's just like a really lovely gift to give somebody. They're gonna use it for years to come and why not? you deserve. Okay, moving on to something interiors wise is the Anissa Kamish vase. I'm sure everybody has seen it. It's a 340 pound booty vase. When it first came out, I did think mm, it's quite trendy. Like you're only gonna see it around for like a year or two. We're like many years into this vase being around and it's still such a statement piece. Having it on your dining room table with like beautiful flowers coming out of it or even a standalone piece on your console table in the entrance to make a really lovely welcome into anybody's home. So it's a piece that I want, it's something that I might spend on when I move out eventually, you know adding it to the wish list. It is a wish list, one can wish. And you know, maybe you might want to gift it to a loved one. And then for the most expensive item on my wish list at the moment are the Prada loafers. Oh guys, I started wearing loafers again this season. And honestly, the Prada style is just everything. It's just, again, so timeless. It can be styled with like trousers, shorts, skirts, dresses, like, oh, this loafer is just so stunning. Like this loafer, I look at it and I think, wow, I will have my life together if I have this loafer. <laughs> this is as Christmassy as my cups get at the moment. I haven't found a good Christmas cup. So if anybody knows of some, please let me know in the comments so I can go and buy one. Now coming in at the 200 and under category, starting off we have something for the home, interiors wise, and this is the Always Pan. It is 125 pounds, comes in a range of colors, but it is a pan that I think if you are a lover of cooking, you love hosting, it's definitely worth investing in as good cookware actually does make your food, one, cook a lot easier 
and I feel like you'll just be a lot happier personally with good cookware. Sticking in the theme of interiors, we have a brand called Dinosaur Designs and they have beautiful resin bowls which they can be styled on their own or styled with like lovely fruit inside of it or little trinkets. But me personally, I would just style this on a dining table with nothing inside of it for the statement so you can see how beautiful this bowl is. Switching to beauty in this category, we have a perfume by Killian. Love, don't be shy. I don't need to say much about this perfume because if you know, you know. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. If you wanna smell like Rihanna, get this perfume. It's so sweet and like marshmallowy and just, I don't know how to describe fragrances over video however if you go to Selfridges definitely go to the kiosk and check it out get a little tester I don't think you'll be disappointed however the price is and this does come in at 185 pounds then moving on to fashion I've got two black owned brands handbags one is Telfar, a Telfeezy, a Telfeezy bitch a Telfeezy the small ones are $150 I need to do maths to figure out how much that is within pounds or euros depending on where you're watching um however it's under the 200 mark and then we have another designer called cease and their bags are just so empowering for black women and they're just really beautiful statements as well can definitely be used dressed up or even on a day-to-day -day basis and these come in at 185 dollars Moving on down to our category of £100 and under, coming in with skincare, we have the Lemur Cream. This product actually ranges all the way up to £800. However, I was shocked that you could get a really small travel size for £69 at 15ml. Le Mer is known for their hydrating ingredients and their really well sourced ingredients that make the price go all the way up. So if you are a bougie skincare lover, a bit like myself, I have to admit, then definitely, you know, add this to your wish list. It could be like a really nice stocking or something, a really small little travel size of La Mer because you might just need some hydration on the go. <laughs> okay, so for ages, I have been wanting the Essay Lauder Night Serum, but I can't, I can't justify spending the money on it yet. I just don't know why. I'm like, oh damn, like 90 pounds for a serum. However, it's Christmas time, it's wish list time. So I'm putting it out to the universe, boyfriend, family. If you wanna buy me this serum, you can get it for under 100 pounds. <laughs> Moving on to a couple pieces for the home. We have the Aesop Resurrection set, which comes in at 87 pounds. You get the hand cream and then also you have the hand soap as well. And I think just displayed next to the sink or in your main bathroom, just looks really nice and also it's like a little spa experience every time you go to wash your hands so for me spending money within like the home and within your everyday it just makes a lot of sense because i'm going to be using these products all the time so that is why it's on my wish list and i absolutely love asap products next on my list is the vitruvi room diffuser and it's just so beautiful it comes in like a terracotta color you can get it in black and white personally i would get it in a terracotta just because then even when it's not in use it almost looks like a little sculpture you know just like a nice piece of decor within the house and you can get this for 73 pounds moving on to perfumes i have two for this category we've got black opium which comes in at about 80 pounds and i think this is just such a classic classic nighttime smell. In my opinion, I think it's just such a nice womanly nighttime evening fragrance for going out. And also in this price range is the Mesa Margiela replica perfumes as well. These fragrances come in a variety of different fragrances. <laughs> and one of my favorites is the one by the ocean i can't remember the proper name for it however it's just so fresh and clean and like for the daytime i just think it's a perfect smell so you've got a nighttime scent and you also have a daytime scent in this category moving on to fashion within the category of under 100 pounds we have a black owned uk brand daily paper and their etony bags are just so classic I say classic and timeless a lot because this year I really vouched to be more of a conscious consumer and not just buy something that I'm not going to use again. So, you know, it has quite a nice tote kind of shape to it. I feel like you could definitely take it out in the evening, use it in the daytime, you wear it across your body, just use a little handle strap. My personal favourite is the blue one and it comes in at £65. 
We are currently in the season of these boots were made for walking and a brand called AM to PM, another black owned brand, have these lovely like Peyton sock kind of boots. My favorite color they do is a truffle and they come in at 99 pounds and I think it's just a lovely statement piece to any outfit. I can imagine wearing like a cute mini skirt and a turtleneck paired with these boots and a nice big coat and even the daily paper bag and you're good to go. And then lastly in this category, I've got the Arg Slide Slippers. I already own a pair, however, I think they deserve a mention because for under a hundred pounds, these slippers, like, they just make you feel like that girl. Okay, they just are so comfortable. They're a little platform for the house. They come in a variety of colors. So depending on your personality or your color preference, you know, there's something for everyone. So definitely like gifting this to like your younger sister or a teenager or um, a girlfriend, whoever. I even think mums would enjoy this. I mean, it's a lovely slipper. So kicking off the under 50 pound category, I am starting with skincare. I've got a lot of skincare in my wish list just because it's something that I value, something that I would probably spend money on myself, but seeing as it's a wish list, I would feel better if it was bought for me. So maybe you're also like me and you're a lover of skincare. So the first item on my list is some Korean skincare and this is the Glow Recipes Fruit Babies Kit. I think this is a really good gift, coming in at only £30 because one, you could give it as a gift as like a secret Santa. I'm personally doing secret Santa with my family and I'm actually gonna add this to my wish list because not only does it include a range of products but it includes a range of products that are actually good for your skin that make a difference not just some like cute looking stuff it actually works the next item on my list is a gua sha by sashu it's only 27 pounds stainless steel it looks super luxe and gua sha's actually work i've only been using mine for literally the last three days however the results so far like were noticeable after my first use. I made sure I did one side of my face and compared it to the other and to my actual shock, they work. So therefore I think that you should also ask for a gua sha and like your stock in and for 27 pounds, you cannot go wrong. Oh, if you don't know what a gua sha is, it drains the lymphatic drainage from your face, allowing your face to look more snatched, okay? And so for another black brand, I've got a beauty brand, Bread and they do amazing products for their hair. I've heard the girls say some good things about their conditioners and also their hair washes and their oils. So it's something that I also want to try. I'll be adding it to my Christmas wish list. Coming in at 27 pounds, you can get the snack pack, which has all the essentials in. Keeping it in a theme of beauty and hair, I definitely want to add a satin pillowcase to my wish list because I don't know about you but my headscarf sometimes comes off at night sometimes a bonnet comes off so if I have a satin pillowcase I know that my hair and my skin also are being well looked after and Beauty Bay do a little kit for only £17.45 it's a bargain so I love Aesop so much that I thought it was worth mentioning them again, but in a category that's a bit more affordable and they do a really lovely room spray for only 40 pounds. And I'm telling you, it works. Like it's not like you spray it and it kind of dissipates after a couple minutes. The smell lingers and lasts and it's just such a luxurious spray. And smell, they have different smells. And I think it's just such a luxurious piece without trying too hard. Making my way down my list, I have an item for £20 and it's an interiors item. This is a Chunky Twist Candle by Anna Nina. It's a lovely, rich, like blue colour candle and I think it would just look really great as a statement piece in anybody's room, home, living room, dining room, entrance, you name it. So me being me, I wanna add luxury wherever I can, however I can, and I think my hands deserve it. In fact, I know my hands deserve it. So this is why I would like to add the Chanel hand cream to my wish list. Not only does it look good, the like aesthetics of like the little egg shape, but also it's very nourishing and moisturizing to the hands. And it comes in at 46 pounds. So a product that I love and I will keep on using, forever basically is the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I use it in the daytime because this cold weather I need something better than petroleum jelly <laughs> simply put you can also wear it to bed as it is a lip sleeping mask which I do and in the morning your lips do still feel moisturized and not cracked or dry and I suffer with that in the evening especially in the winter so I've got my last 
favourite wish list item, only coming in at £30, and it is a candle by Boy Smells. It is called the Hinoki Phantom, and it has this like rich, smoky, but sweet smell to it. And it's so unique and so individual. I have never smelled anything like this before. Only £30, and it really does fill up a bedroom nicely. I wouldn't say that it's for like a living room or a large open space, but they have a range of different fragrances that are quite contemporary and modern so I would definitely say check them out and find something that you love for yourself or a loved one for only £30. Perfect for a secret Santa, perfect for a stocking, perfect if you're on a budget. So we've made it to the end of another episode. I really hope that you like what's on my wish list and like what I think would help you guys in terms of inspiration and finding a gift for somebody this Christmas season. I wanted to get it out early so you've got the rest of December to kind of shop around, not rush, take your time, do it properly, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, if you love this video and you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe, like and give me a thumbs up and let me know what your favourite product was was that I mentioned in the wish list and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye guys!